What's cooking that smokeaholics today? What's in the smoker? There's no telling what they do. Welcome to Smokeaholics Barbecue World. We got some more pork belly. Got four pounds of pork belly. We're not going to make candy this time. We're going to make homemade bacon. Yes, homemade bacon. I bought some maple, black pepper, thick cut bacon. We're going to make this into this. We're going to have our own maple bacon, or maple black, <laughs> maple black pepper bacon. Our bacon hopefully turns out like this bacon. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, I put a third cup of water and a third cup and a half of pure maple syrup. Okay, I got a third cup of salt. Third cup of black pepper. I filled my cup over full of uh, brown sugar. Okay, we put it in my two gallon bag, shook it all up. It's time to put it in the refrigerator for seven days. We gotta flip it every day for seven days. And then we get the smoker. All right, put it in the bed and in the refrigerator. In a pan, so uh, if my bag leak, the pan would hold it and it helps to uh, close all the liquid in around it. Okay. Okay, we let it sit in the refrigerator for seven days, flipping it back and forth. We just took it out. This is what it's looking like. We're going to get ready to uh, take it out of our bag here, wash it all down. You want to get all that salt, brown sugar, maple, and all that stuff off of it before you put it in the smoker. I washed it real good, but see, we still got black pepper stuck in the meat. That's good because uh, we're going to hear this is what the, this is what happens. See how the all our mixture changed the texture to our, our and the color to our meat. It is now cured. So I'm gonna load this back down with black pepper. And we'll be putting it in the smoker to cook it down. Here we go. We loaded it down with black pepper. That way we're going to have a nice bark once we smoke it. But that's all you want to put is black pepper. You don't want to put nothing else. If you put brown sugar and that stuff, it, it'll be it'll really burn. We just want that black pepper bark. Here it is in the smoker. We're going to cook it. We're going to put some smoke into it now. Give it the smoke flavor. I've got hickory and apple running through the smoker here. Here it is cooking. Getting all that good old smoke in it, making it look like bacon. Here it is all done. A little bit of my uh, fat pulled up there on that corner there. But that's what it looked like when I took it out of the smoker. Now we brought it in the house, put it in the refrigerator for about a half a day. That way when I run it through this slicer, it's nice and chilled. And it'll stick together, it'll stick real good. And uh, it'll slice better when it's cold. But there you go, there's your stick slice cut bacon. All homemade. stuff is better than what you can buy in the store
better for you. It ain't got all them chemicals in it. This is how they used to make bacon back in the day. With the old homesteaders. They used to raise their pigs and uh, and uh, cure their, their pork belly and make their own bacon. There you go. Look at them big old pieces of bacon. You can't buy stuff like that in the store. Alright guys, I put the bacon in the microwave. I got a little too hard, a minute and 30. But uh, look at that, it, it's very, very lean. There's not no fat. And it tastes pretty good. Tastes like bacon. There's no chemical, brown sugar, salt, and maple syrup. No nitrates. None of the other junk that they put in the bacon at the store. Natural bacon. God bless you. I'll see you on the next video. Hey, give us a thumbs up. Your thumbs up gets our videos out there. Thanks for watching. Like us. And don't forget to subscribe. God bless you. I'll see you on the next video.